vertical videos are here to stay it's probably not who knows maybe it's just another trend that's gonna fade away very soon but one thing for sure if you're not jumping on it or taking advantage of it you're gonna lose a lot when it comes to marketing and branding on social media over the past few years i've had opportunity to shoot some vertical videos for some clients and also for my personal fitness page on ig so in today's video i'm gonna walk you guys through my process when it comes to importing editing and exporting using final cut pro 10 all right guys let's get started Today's video is sponsored by Creation. More on that later on this video. So right when I get home, I upload everything straight to my drive. So as you can see, I've done the naming and organizing already. I drop the videos in here, screen records, images, and audio. So from there, I'll just go to the software and go to file, new, and then create a new library. With the library, I drop it in the same folder that I have all my files in. So this, I'll just name it tutorial then click on save and then with the event i like to change my event name from the date so this i'll just click on that and change it to vertical video just to keep things organized and from here i'll just create a new project go to the file go to new and then choose project so with the project name i'll just name it vertical and then with the event i'll just leave it inside the event that i created then the starting time code i'll leave it the same way it is with the video format i'll leave it at vertical since we are editing vertical video videos today and then with the resolution this is what i do i choose the highest resolution i shoot in 4k i use gh5 so i select 4k file but if you're shooting full hd then you can go with 1080 by 1920 with the frame rate i choose 23.98 since i shoot at the same frame rate so you just select the frame rate that you shoot in with the codec i leave it the same way it is with the rest i don't do anything to it but with this if you don't see the rest of these settings you can click on this so as you can see when i click on that it closed that settings so if you don't see that you can just click on use custom settings and everything or the rest of the settings is going to pop up and then you can do the necessary changes so from there i'll just click on ok i use command i to just go straight to that window but you can just also go to file go to import and then select media and then you'll get a window pop up so over here you can see final cut pro 10 will bring out the devices that you have on your machine or if you are importing from your card so i have it on my drive i'll select that scroll down to the folder that i have all my files in i have it under tutorials so i'll select that as you can see this file has this folder all under it it's going to come in handy very soon so i'll just select tutorial test then when you go to your right side with this settings with the vertical video i leave it in the same event since i created that already and then with the create new event i leave it like that i don't choose that then with the files i leave the files in place when you choose copy final cut pro 10 is going to duplicate all your files and that's going to eat up your space so you don't want that to happen so i just leave the files in places i've done everything i've already uploaded them on my folder in my finder so with the keywords i select from folders and from this final cut pro 10 is going to use the folders i've created earlier on to create my keyword collection it makes everything so organized and easy for you i'll show you guys later on so with the analyze video i leave it like that i don't select anything since i'm going to do color correction and grading myself with the transcode i select create proxy media and then i select frame size of 25 percent my machine is really really slow i use 2015 macbook pro it's really really old machine it makes it so easy for my machine to play back without any difficulty and with this the quality is going to go down a little bit but i'm able to do with that but if you have a strong machine then you can easily go with create optimized media and then you'll be fine with it your machine can handle it but if you have a super strong machine then you can skip this side you can untake all of them and edit right from the camera file so with this final cut pro 10 is just trying to convert it to a codec file that i can easily play in this very software and then when you go down i leave everything as it is i don't touch anything i want to take everything and then with the assign audio row i leave it at automatically so from here i'll just click on import selected and then final cut pro 10 will start importing my video files now with this vertical video event when i click on the drop down menu you can see final cut pro 10 did amazing job by creating keyword collection with the folder that i already created earlier on that's why it's so easy or it's so important to just create folders so to make everything so organized and easy for final cut pretend to create that for you but when i click on audio you can see i have my audio file right in there when i click on images 
I have all my images there, screen record, I have it in there, and then with the videos, I have everything right in there. And when you check on this side, you can see something loading. When you click on that, it shows you Final Cut Pro 10 is now transcoding all your files into the proxy files that I selected earlier on. So it will be easy for my machine to play back without any difficulty. But as you can see, when I click on this drop down menu, it's gonna transcode all the files. So now I'll close that, close this. And then from here, when you see this missing proxy, don't worry, Final Cut Pro 10 is now trying to transcode all your files before you can see the file. But then when you click on view, and you select optimize or original then you can see the files but i'm not going to edit with this file so i'll just choose proxy only and then wait for final cut pro 10 to do all the transcoding and then i'm ready to edit and now final cut pro 10 is done with the transcoding so from there i'll just go to screen and then as you can see i did some screen recording with some audio it's so easy for me that way to get the audio right from instagram that i want to use so just like that i'll just drag it and drop it on my timeline scroll through where the music starts and then command b to just make a cut over there delete the part that i don't like then cut the ending part too so from here what i do is i just right click on that go to detach audio so i can just select the audio file that's the only file that i need with this and then press shift command and then with the up arrow just to lift it from the storyline and then i can delete this i don't need that anymore i just need the audio file so from there i'll just click on the audio itself and then whilst it's playing i'll just be dropping a marker by pressing m to the place that i just want the videos to start from so with this it's ready then i'll go to my video files and then i'll start selecting the favorite videos that i like and usually when i'm shooting i already edit in my head so i know the storyline how it's gonna go as you can see this i was just walking to the fence i'll just select the part that I was walking to the fence press i for the starting point o for the ending point and then q to drop it on the timeline so i'll do the same with the rest of the videos i'll wait till when i was jumping on the fence i then o and then drop it on the timeline with Q. I'll just go through the same process and just be dropping the videos. So right after dropping all the videos on my timeline, this is what I do. I go to the first video, click on that, and as you can see, it doesn't fit the format. I shoot with GH5 and it's gonna look like this, but if you shoot with your iPhone, then it's gonna fill the format already, so you don't need to do anything with this next process. This is what I do. I go to scale or change that to 180%, and then go to the rotation, and I wanna rotate it so that it will fill the whole screen. So with this, I'll just select 270. But if I was shooting with my hand or someone was shooting with the hand then i'll just change it to 90 degrees the opposite so with this as you can see it shows already that way and then i'll drop the volume down i don't need the volume most of the time so i'll just drop it down then from this side what i do is i press command c to copy that settings select the rest of the video clips or the files that i have on my timeline shift command v to bring the video attribute out then i'll select the ones that i want to copy and paste in on that videos so with this i just want to copy the rotation the skill and also the volume leave stretch to fit like that and then just click on paste and it's going to paste all the settings that we have previously and as you can see it did all the changes for us so from here i'll just select the whole video files that i have on my timeline press option command and down arrow to drop it on my main storyline delete this side i don't need that and now i just match my video clips to where i drop the marker that way it's going to be easy for my videos to match or move exactly with the sound so i'm going to do that very fast now i'm done with the basic editing and it's time to add some graphics titles just to spice up things so your viewers will get hooked when they watch your videos and that's when creation comes into place on creation websites you can get access to the best modern tools that's gonna assist you create killer videos and also take your work to the next level on their website you can find graphics templates plugins lots presets callouts that you can easily drag and drop on your timeline with creation they also provide you with a lot of parameters that you can play around it and for you guys before you add it to your shopping cart make sure you select the final cut pro 10 icon and guess what the good news is that people from creation provide you guys with a 10 percent discount by using the code joey thanks once again to the guys from creation for sponsoring this video all right guys let's go back to it so after dropping the graphics the titles the last thing i do is color grading and before i do that i make sure i change my file to original or optimized
so I'll know exactly how the colors look like. And then from there, I'll go to my titles, select an adjustment layer. And since I shot everything in the same lighting, I took my light there, so the lighting did not really change. So color grading and color correction is gonna be so simple for me. Drag and drop my adjustment layer on my timeline. So from there, I'll just go to my effect section side and then go to my colors. I've already saved a preset, it makes everything so easy. So then I'll just choose garage one, drag and drop on my adjustment layer. And there over there, you can see the colors all look the same. So from there, if I wanna do some small necessary tweak to it, I'll just go to the individual clip and then do the necessary changes. If I wanna change the exposure or bring the light up and all that, I'll just do everything right on the individual clip and then I'm good to go. So with the export on the right side, click on this icon or you can go to file, then go to share, under share, choose export file default. Then go to settings. So this is the settings I use and it works for me all the time. Under format, make sure you choose computer. Then under resolution, choose 1080 by 1920. That's the full HD format. Click on next. Choose the folder that you want to save your video file. With this, let's name it test video. And from here, I'll just airdrop it to my iPhone. I use an iPhone so it's easy with my MacBook. So just right click, go to share, and then just click on airdrop and then I'll drop it on my iPhone. So one quick one that I forgot to talk about in the video. So if you use any other phone apart from iPhone, you can use Google Drive or Dropbox to send the files from your laptop to your phones. But please don't use WhatsApp. WhatsApp is really terrible when it comes to sending video files and all that. All right, guys, let's go back straight to it. And that's it for today, guys. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.